Well, Alabama linebacker coach Austin Armstrong is expected to be the next defensive coordinator for the Florida Gators. We need to talk about it, but if you haven't, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And by doing so, it greatly helps out my channel. And it helps me grow as a content creator. Well, Austin Armstrong, guys, uh, is expected to be the defensive coordinator for the Florida Gators. Um, he just, you know, inked his uh, signature at Alabama in, uh, on February the 13th. And um, he's already going to go over to uh, the Florida Gators. And um, this is a shock, but, you know, at the same time, he's taking a, a better position as being the defensive coordinator. Um, he has history with Coach Billy Napier when he was over there at the Louisiana occasions. And um, I can understand it, guys. Um, you want to have familiarity with, you know, coaches. And um, like I said, they have a background. And, um, uh it's a step up, you know, uh, at Alabama, he was just going to be the uh, inside linebackers coach. And um, now he's taking a, a better position. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see what Alabama does, you know, as far as, you know, replacing him. Uh, we have to replace him quick. Uh, a couple of names I can think of that can probably, you know, take the position. Uh, maybe Freddie Roach, I've, you know, maybe Freddie Roach can do it. He's currently our defensive line coach. But uh, my honest opinion, I think Alabama is going to keep him there, you know, coaching the D-line. But two other names that I think of that can potentially be, you know, filling the spot is uh, maybe Coleman Hutzler. You know, uh, he's our current outside linebackers coach. You know, he has history of coaching uh, linebackers, uh, especially, you know, inside linebackers when he was at Texas. And, of course, he has co-defense, you know, defense coordinator experience as well. So, uh, that can be a guy that can potentially, you know, fill in that spot. Another guy, um, older guy, but Sal Sinceri, uh, he took a off-field position. You know, he's like a special assistant to Nick Saban. And um, I think he primarily, you know, deals with recruiting, you know, in uh, NIL and uh, the transfer portal. You know, I think I think it's more like the transfer portal that he's, you know, uh, the assistant to the head coach. But um, another hard-nosed guy. Um, he had, I contribute him, you know, developing, uh, Will Anderson when, you know, he became a freshman and he was able to, uh, get some huge playing time. So, um, South Sinceri could be a guy that can probably fill in at the inside linebacker. He has experience as well, you know, uh, defensive coordinator experience and, uh, outside and inside linebacker experience. So, um, it's going to be interesting. I think, you know, maybe, uh, they'll move somebody to that spot that's already in, in the program, it'd probably be an easier move, you know, to move somebody around. But at the same time, uh, we could bring somebody, you know, in. Um, several names out there, you know. But um, it's going to be interesting to see what Nick Saban does, you know. Uh, this, Like I said, it's a shocker. He just uh, signed the contract, but uh, he's already, you know, going to, you know, Florida. But um, it's not shocking. Like I said, better position. Uh, be the man calling the play, so uh, I can understand it, you know. Uh, nevertheless, Alabama's going to be fine. Uh, last season, Florida's defense was among the bottom in the SEC in points allowed, rushing yards allowed, and passing yards allowed per game. And, um, you know, they're getting rid, uh, rid of Tony, uh, the former uh, co-defensive coordinator, Patrick Tony. You know, he was the play caller last season, and um, – they decided to part ways with him and um, now to bring in uh, Austin Armstrong. And uh, I think this is going to help for the Gators defense. You know, uh, like I said, having familiarity with Billy Napier is going to be really, really, you know, uh, beneficial to the Florida Gators. But what do you guys think? Who do you think can come in? Or, or do you think we're just going to promote from the inside? You know, you guys let me know in the comment section. And once again, guys, if you haven't, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll definitely be back with more college football content. Thanks, guys, and roll tide.